Robert Durst, the New York real estate heir who was convicted of murder in California, has died in prison. He was 78. His attorney says Durst died from natural causes. CBS 2's Dick Brennan has more on his life, conviction, and the questions that remain. At the end of his life, Robert Durst was in failing health and serving a life without parole sentence for murder, having plenty of time to perhaps wonder how he got away with it all for so long. Durst's life story was one straight out of the tabloids. He spent years dodging justice, a suspect in a total of three killings, including his wife's. Did you have anything to do with the death of your wife? I don't know that she's dead. Durst's wife, Kathleen, disappeared in January 1982 after he claims he dropped her at a train station, then returned to their home in South Salem, Westchester County. Her body was never found, and she was declared legally dead. But there was never enough of a case to charge Durst. Durst was also acquitted of murdering a man in Texas. But it was Durst's own words in an HBO documentary, The Jinx, that helped finally do him in. He made incriminating statements in his wife's disappearance and also in the unsolved 2000 killing of a once close friend, Susan Berman. The HBO series concludes when Durst, still wearing a microphone in the bathroom, is heard mumbling what sounded like a confession to murder. In September, Durst was convicted of killing Berman, and then a criminal complaint was filed in his wife's murder, a case he did not live to face. But the family of Kathleen Durst still wants answers. In a statement, their attorney wrote, although Robert Durst has died, the ongoing investigation into those who helped him cover up her murder continues. They promise more information in the coming weeks. Dick Brennan, CBS2 News. And the Westchester DA, Mimi Roca, says she will also have more information in the coming days.